Hi, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Mess Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you just a couple really simple, essential knots that I use on a daily basis when I'm out in the woods. Alright guys, so hopefully this camera angle is good for you. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you a couple knots and I'm going to use this stick as a teaching aid when I need to. But we got this ridge line here. It's made out of paracord. And just for our convenience, it is orange, which is going to make it just that much better. Light's pretty much in our favor right now. And what I want to show you guys right now is a half hitch. And that's one of the, the basic first knots that you should learn. Alright guys, so let's start out with a half hitch. And it's very easy to tie this knot, but a lot of people mess it up. And I'm going to show you guys, hopefully, how to do it the easiest way possible. And that's by just draping it over a stick, just like this. Okay, bring yourself around, and instead of just coming around and wrapping like this, make an X. See that X that I just made? And then the next time I come around, I'm going underneath the first line of the X, just like this. I'm going to straighten that up a little bit. When you're showing people how to tie knots, that's when you mess them up the most, right? And that's a half hitch just like that. Alright, the next knot that I'm going to show you guys is called the constrictor knot. And the reason why I showed you that clove hitch really quickly is because this is almost like a, a clove hitch, just a little bit different. And if you have the opportunity to uh, be able to tie something, uh, like a piece of stick or something that you can drape a loop over, it's really convenient to do this knot. All you have to do is basically take your two fingers, put one on one side of the rope, put one on the other side of the rope, and then make an S, just like this. See how I've made this S? And then if we just continue with that S, we make kind of a figure eight, just like that. If we pick the middle of that figure eight up, we have made a knot. Okay, guys? All right, let's do that one more time. Make an S, just like this. Continue around with the S. Let's make a figure eight of sorts, just like that pick up the middle of the figure eight and we should have two loops now if we put something through those two loops and we wind them down we have what's called a constrictor knot and especially if we have something square like this it's really a great knot to use and you can see it has quite a resemblance to a half hitch and that's the reason why I showed you the half hitch first the only difference between this and a half hitch is that it goes under the second loop. So let's go ahead and show you guys a bend. And there's, So it's very easy to, to learn knots. It's very hard to learn all the knots. And sometimes I think there's some people out there that just want to know every single knot. And you know, it's not really feasible in my opinion. So I'll pick out certain uh, knots out of families like you know bends and, and uh, hitches and things like that I'll pick out certain ones that I use I find myself using more and more and more and those are the ones that I'll, I just I remember I learn and usually they're the easiest I mean I don't I'm not out here trying to tie hugely difficult knots but one of the really uh, important knots that I feel to, to know is the sheet bend and the reason why it's called a sheet bend is because in sailing uh, the end of a sail is called a sheet and that's what the, the sheet bend is what they use to tie the smaller rope to bigger ropes to, to connect the, the, the sail to the boat itself. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to show you guys the sheet bend. Alright guys, well the sheet bend is really simple. All we're going to do is start out with a piece of rope just like this and we're going to want to connect another piece of rope. So all we're going to do is put a loop in it. Very simple. We're just putting a loop in just like this. Okay. Now with our other piece of rope, all we're going to do is come through the loop, just like that, okay? Through the loop, around the loop, and back through the loop, just like that, okay? One more time. You can do it on either direction. There's some people out there that are pretty kind of crazy about that, but 
if you do it in either direction you just gotta change the direction that you tie the knot but let's just start out with a loop just like this put your tag in through the loop come around the loop completely so this is our tag end right here and then under the loop that you've made with the tag end just like that that's a sheet bend those two pieces of rope are not going anywhere <laughs> now some people say like the uh, fisherman's knot that is a really good way to connect pieces of rope as well same kind of principle that applies I find that the sheet bend is a little bit more simpler to do a little bit faster there you go it's tied but the fisherman's knot or aka the necklace knot rather easy as well just for taking two pieces of rope together and tying just a regular standard knot in it one side you want to make sure that your tag end is running with the loop and on the other side same knot on this side and you know, there's double fisherman's knots, triples fisherman's knots but what this does is allows the string to, to move and adjust that's why it's called a necklace knot because a lot of people will use this to make like you know little necklaces and hang things from their neck but these two knots when they come together they're not going to go anywhere that's a great way to tie two pieces of rope together and it'll be adjustable at that the sheet bend is not adjustable all right, last knot that I want to show you is the bowling knot. And very simply, the easiest way to, to tie this knot is with two fingers. And you put the rope around your two fingers, and that makes a loop. You slide the loop off your two fingers, just like that, okay? Now, all you have to do is remember the old adage, rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree, goes back in the hole, that's bowling knot. You know that you've done it correctly when you have that tag in that sticks through the loop just like that. And that is a non-slipping knot that's not going to go anywhere. Bowling knot. Alright guys, what's well, been William Myers, Manus Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed this video. For some links to some of our previous videos, click the videos that are playing right on the sidebar. Also there's a subscribe button over there. If you haven't done so already, I appreciate it if you click subscribe to the channel. Liking this video helps me and my channel out a lot. To keep it up to date with us, you can go to www.facebook forward slash manusoutdoors.com. Give us a like there. Also, to stay up to date with the videos and all the other classes that I'm doing, you can go to www.manusoutdoorsllc.com. There will be class information, when the dates are, what's going on. You can also shop in the store, get some beeswax candles and some of the other products that are going to be coming very, very soon. So I appreciate all your views, comments, and support. Hopefully, we'll see you out in the woods.